Here at home, the White House is shifting America's military priorities, proposing sharp cuts in the Pentagon budget over the next 10 years, while at the same time increasing the U.S. commitment to Asia. Whit Johnson has details. Despite protests back home, <laughs> Filipino officials were in Washington this week, negotiating a deal that could allow the U.S. to rotate ships and additional commandos through stations in the Philippines. As the Pentagon starts scaling back operations in Europe and the Middle East, Army Chief of Staff Ray Odierno said Friday that U.S. forces in the region will be strengthened despite looming budget cuts. We will increase engagements with allies and new partners in the Asia-Pacific region, home of seven of the ten largest armies in the world. Countries in East Asia are very worried about increasing Chinese influence, reach, and perhaps even aggression. CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarate says fear of China has some Asian nations turning back to Uncle Sam for protection, especially in the South China Sea, an economic shipping hub where China has laid claim to disputed territories. There's a sense that we need to be there to serve as a security blanket in the region. Along with the Philippines, the U.S. is looking into possible security arrangements with Indonesia, Thailand, and even Vietnam. Singapore has agreed to host Navy warships. The United States is stepping up. In November, President Obama announced plans to station 2,500 Marines in northern Australia, the largest number of troops in that country since World War II. Our economy, virtually every job in America, is tied to the stability of this area. Regional expert Anthony Cordesman says preserving U.S. trade to and from Asia is vital. Preserving that level of security and stability at the cost we have to pay is actually a relatively cheap insurance policy. There are fewer than 100,000 American troops stationed in East Asia, which is not expected to change. Pentagon officials hope new technology and improved relations will make the U.S. presence felt without breaking the bank. Whit Johnson, CBS News, the Pentagon.